Hey, this is Marie. I'm back with another makes video for you. So uh, this time I have lots of knitting and crochet projects for you. I can't wait to show you what I've got. I've got a whole bunch of things. It's been a while since I made a video. So the first thing that I have is these Sugar Baby Pumpkins uh, by Deborah Raymond. The pattern is a pay for pattern, but I love how they turned out. I made them with all different kinds of scraps. This one partic in particular, I held multiple strands of fingering weight yarn that were in my scrap bins and I love how it turned out. I think it was either three or four strands. And then this one, I love how it turned out. This one was one strand of worsted and then one or two other strands of fingering along with it. And then this one, was one strand of worsted and then either one or two strands of fingering. So they're so cute and they're so easy to make and quick. And then I put cinnamon sticks in them. They're so fun. So that was Sugar Baby Pumpkins by Deborah Raymond. All right, and so the next thing that I have is, okay, this crochet boho phone charm. So this is something I saw on Instagram, I saw somebody was, they were selling something like this. Um, they didn't have a pattern or anything like that. I just saw an item for sale. And I thought we could make this and then we could make it for gifts for Christmas. And if you're interested, I could make a tutorial. Just let me know down below if you want me to make a tutorial on this. So anyway, so it attaches to your phone and then it attaches with these little swivel hooks. And there's like a little, um, let me get one. There's a little thing that goes in the back of your phone case and it has like a little loop on it and you can get it from Amazon. I'll link it below where you get it from. There's also another type that you can use, which is like a clear one that comes from Amazon. You could use this. You can get a multiple pack of like four or five or whatever for a few dollars. And then you, go ahead and use your swivel hooks to attach it to the little, so the swivel hooks are on here. Let me just show you. And then you attach it to your phone that way. So I love how this turned out. I used all kinds of scraps that I had left over and for this one, I used uh, um, I used Regia Tweed scraps, and I held two strands together. And then I used um, one strand of uh, the Regia Tweed and one strand of another scrap for the other colors, just to make a marled look to it. And so with this crochet um, boho phone charm, you can do it crossbody. You can wear it crossbody, or you could wear it just over one shoulder, put it in your pocket or you could just leave it as a phone charm and just like hold it like this, you know, like around your wrist or something like that. Anyway, I love them. I think they're super cute. I totally had to make one. I don't know if you guys are into it or not, but I love it. So after I made this one, I made another one and I just want to show it to you just like for another option. And maybe this one would go a little bit quicker because you wouldn't be changing all the yarns. Um, you know, in the grannies that I did before, I changed the yarns on every um, round. So that had a little bit more ends to weave in. If you're not into that, you could do this one. So this one I used uh, a Lemonade Shop ice cream truck and I made all the squares with that. And then I went around the edge with a homespun house uh, double dare. So I love how it turned out. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I don't know, I just love it. Definitely, I will be making these for gifts for a couple of people if I think they're into it, right? I mean, it's cute though, I really like it. So anyway, okay, so the next thing that I have is, oh, okay, a pair of socks that I made. So I've made um, a pair of socks with this yarn before. It's called Deborah Norville 
uh, pink sugar is the colorway and it is actually one of my favorite yarns to knit with um, that's from a big box store so it's so cute I have like a blue pair with blue different colored stripes on it and they've lasted so long I really love how they um, they wear and here we go it's called Deborah Norville Serenity Sock Weight and this was just an older um, skein of it that I had in my stash and I love how they turned out they're so cute so I just did 64 stitches on a size 2.75 needle and I did afterthought heels so all right so the next thing that I have is a pair of socks um, and let me get those on the sock blockers. But these are called Magic Heel Socks, and they're by Autumn Acorn, the pattern is. And these are a different type of sock. They don't have a heel, per se. Um, they, have, they have this instead of the heel. And this is, it allows for, if you have, like, if you're knitting it for a child whose foot might grow, or if you're... Um, concerned about knitting a heel, maybe it's your first pair of socks. This is a good pattern for that. It is a pay for pattern. And I used Kirby Werby's Old Faithful Base in the Rose Apothecary Remix colorway. And I love how they turned out. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. So this is what they look like. So these are made with a size 2.75 DPN and I did a 64 cast on. So, and you'll have to go check out the Magic Heel Sock Pattern by Autumn Acorn if you're interested. It's kind of just like a tube sock really, you know, but they're great for, for you know, a new sock knitter or someone who's making socks for a child whose heel might grow a little. They can wear it a lot longer instead of, you know, having a sock knit to a specific size foot and then having the child outgrow it. So, so you should check it out. Definitely a fun pair of socks to make. Okay, just looking at my notes. Okay, the next thing that I have is a pair of DK socks. Now this is one of the first pairs of DK socks that I've tried making since I learned how to knit socks. I think my first pair of socks that I ever knit was DK, uh, but then <laughs> they were a mess, honestly. But um, then I had seen a bunch of people holding two strands of sock yarn together to make um, DK socks recently. And so these are like kind of big um, socks. They might not fit in um, a pair of regular shoes because they're so thick but they'll be nice for winter. And this is how they turned out. So this is actually the same yarn that I used for this, for my um, phone charm, except for I was, I just had it out um, and I was making these socks. And then when I saw the phone charm idea, I thought I'll just use this yarn because I have it out, but. <laughs> Anyway, I love how they turned out. They're DK uh, weight socks. You hold two strands together. So I held one strand of just undyed yarn with um, some scraps. And I just kind of went scrap, um, you know, scrap to scrap. And I matched them up on the second pair or the second sock. And this is how they came out. They're so fun. So the funny thing about these socks is, I'm not gonna keep them, but I was at work in a work meeting and I was knitting, or actually not in a meeting, I was like in a thing after work. And um, one of our coworkers saw them and he wanted to touch them, you know, cause he, I guess he was shocked that you could make socks or whatever. And he was holding them. He didn't, he said he didn't wanna give them back to me. So I thought, well, he seems kind of knit worthy. And I asked him what size shoe he wore. And he said the same size that I was knitting. And so I was like, okay, I'll make these for you. You know, like he seemed like he really wanted that sock. He said he didn't want to give it back to me. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, you have to give it back to me and I'll give it back to you after I show them in the, <laughs> the episode. But anyway, 
So he's going to get these socks and I guess he's going to wear them with his boots skiing or I don't know what. <laughs> but um, hopefully he likes them. And I'll have to make another pair for myself. So, But he seemed knit worthy, right? I mean, he really wanted them. So, okay. Anyway, so the next thing that I have is... Oh, yes. Okay. So the next thing I have is a works in progress. I got some yarn from Hobby. And let me just put the little label back on. It looks like this. And it's glitter yarn. And I had this was the first order that I ever made with them. And it was some Halloween sock. Um, it's called Halloween Sock Wool Glitter Color 2. That's the color. And I thought, I want to make some fingerless mitts. And so I made the first one, and I'm working on the second one. But this is how it turned out. I do love it. It's very glittery. And I put a little ghosty on it. Let me cover up my face so you can see it. So I put this little ghost um, patch on it. So I ordered these patches from Etsy. And I love how it turned out. Oh my gosh. I didn't quite get them done. I have, um, I'm just on the cuff of the other one, the second one. So hopefully I'll get those done soon. I use size 2.75 needles and I cast on 64 stitches. And I actually have a video of how I make my fingerless mitts. And I'll link it up above and down below if you're interested. And you can follow along and make them with me. So that would be fun, definitely. I love how they turned out. The next thing that I have is this Muscle Burrow hat that I've been working on. This is the yarn that I'm using. It is Wisdom Yarns by Pix. And I love the colorway. It's so nice. I'm using size 5, 3.75, 16 inch circular needles. And this is how it's coming out. It's really cute. It's so soft. And it's the color is called succulent. It's color number 106. So I should have those. Maybe I'll have that ready next time to show you. Uh, the next thing that I have is a, that is a work in progress is a pair of fingerless mitts. It is by... Uh, the yarn is by Candy Shop Yarns. This is what it looks like. It's called Frosty Pumpkin Cider on the Simple Syrup Sock Base. And this is what it looks like. I also used a couple of different colorways. I used a brown colorway for the, um, the cuff. And this was, the brown colorway was Knit Pick Stroll Tweed in the Reindeer Heather colorway. And then the green was a little Lolo. It was like a mini skein. And it was by Lolo Did It in the Shamrock colorway. And I love the colors in these. They're so pretty. And this is also with my um, fingerless mitt pattern. And I'll link it above or down below if it lets me link it above again. I'm not sure. But I love how they're turning out. I'm on the second one. I have part of it knit. But I got sidetracked by other projects. You know how that goes. <laughs> All right. So that's everything for today. I have <laughs> I have um, some footage of, of some burners being uh, repainted on our building in the city. And I thought you might like that. I'm gonna put that at the very end of the video. And so there's like all this graffiti in the city and um, there's like this whole wall of all these burners and these artists had to redo their burners because someone came along and tagged all over them. And I, I happened to be there on the day that they were redoing the burners and it was really cool. So I took a little bit of footage. I'm gonna put that at the very end of the video. And also I have Denver Cruise Projects coming up next. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.